This is a proof from Euclid's Elements, Book 1, Proposition 5. Given an isosceles triangle, ABC, that is, the sides AB and AC are equal, the corresponding base angles are equal. That is, angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Since this is Euclid's fifth proposition, we can use the axioms, the results of the first four propositions, which includes the side-angle-side congruence theorem, which we'll see will come in useful in this proof two separate occasions. So, let's begin. First, by Euclid's second axiom, we're going to extend the sides of the triangle from A to B, also from A to C. Then I'll draw a circle with center A, and whose radius is an arbitrary point on this line AB. I'll call that point D. This circle, center A, also intersects line AC. I'll mark that point of intersection and call it E. And then I'll draw some line segments, one connecting B to E, and another connecting C to D. At this point, I claim we have two congruent triangles, ACD, is congruent to ABE. Since DA and EA are both radii of this big circle, they are equal. Since the angle BAC is equal to itself, viewed as the angle CAB, these angles shared by the triangle are equal. And finally, the side AC is congruent to the side AB by hypothesis. Therefore, the triangles are congruent, and we may match up corresponding sides. Next, we can observe that we actually have two more congruent triangles. In particular, triangle BDC and triangle CEB are also congruent by side angle side. Side BD is equal to side CE, angle BDC is equal to angle CEB, and side DC is equal to side EB. Therefore, these triangles are also congruent, and we'll mark the corresponding angles which we'll be interested in to complete this proof. Because these two triangles are now congruent, in particular, these angles are congruent, angle CBE and angle BCD. And notice that if you take these angles from our first pair of congruent triangles, angle ABE and angle ACD, and you subtract from them, respectively, angle CBE and angle BCD, you have these orange angles, subtract these gray angles, and you're left with the angles from the original isosceles triangle, angle ABC and angle ACB. Since equals subtracted from equals result in equal quantities, angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. In other words, the base angles of the isosceles triangle are equal, which was what we wanted to prove. 